What is the research regarding the effectiveness of the use of psychological debriefing in the treatment of post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD? Psychological debriefing, PD, is a short-term intervention used to prevent or alleviate symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD. This intervention aims to help individuals process their traumatic experiences through structured conversations. However, recent research has shown that PD may not be as effective as previously thought and can even have negative outcomes. In this video, we will discuss the potential negative outcomes of using PD for the treatment of PTSD and cite research to support this view. What is psychological debriefing? PD is a short-term intervention used to prevent or alleviate PTSD symptoms in the immediate aftermath of a traumatic event. It typically involves one or more sessions where the individual is asked to recount the traumatic event and process their emotional reactions to it. The sessions are structured and guided by a mental health professional with the goal of facilitating emotional processing and preventing the development of PTSD. Potential Negative Outcomes of PD Increased Risk of PTSD Research has shown that PD may actually increase the risk of PTSD. A study conducted by Bisson et al. in 2009 found that individuals who received PD were more likely to develop PTSD symptoms than those who did not receive PD. Worsening of Symptoms PD may worsen symptoms of PTSD. A meta-analysis conducted by Van Emmerich et al. in 2002 found that PD was associated with higher levels of distress and anxiety than control conditions. No Long-Term Benefits PD has been shown to have no long-term benefits in preventing PTSD. A meta-analysis conducted by Rose et al. in 2002 found that there was no significant difference in PTSD symptoms between individuals who received PD and those who did not. Unnecessary re-traumatization, PD may cause unnecessary re-traumatization. A study conducted by Bruin et al. in 1999 found that individuals who received PD reported higher levels of intrusive thoughts about the traumatic event than those who did not receive PD. Ineffective in reducing PTSD symptoms, PD has been shown to be ineffective in reducing PTSD symptoms. A meta-analysis conducted by Forbes et al. in 2007 found that PD had no effect on PTSD symptoms compared to control conditions. Conclusion While PD has been widely used as a means of preventing and treating PTSD, recent research has shown that it may have potential negative outcomes. PD may increase the risk of PTSD, worsen symptoms, have no long-term benefits, cause unnecessary re-traumatization, and be ineffective in reducing PTSD symptoms. Therefore, it is important for mental health professionals to be aware of these potential negative outcomes when considering the use of PD for the treatment of PTSD. Alternative evidence-based interventions such as cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, prolonged exposure, seeking safety for the treatment of PTSD in substance use disorders, cognitive processing theory, eye movement desensitization and reprocessing, EMDR, although Division 12 of the American Psychological Association has said that while effective, EMDR is questionable as a treatment, and other evidence-based models, such as narrative exposure therapy could be considered for individuals with PTSD. For more information about the treatment of PTSD go to the website of the Albert Ellis Institute at www.albertellis.org, email the institute at info at albertellis.org, or call 212-535-0822. Keep an eye out for an upcoming multi-day certificate training practicum in the use of REBT for treating PTSD and other trauma-related disorders. Have a good day.